Hi all, this is Paula from Slice Media. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to add uh, just audio to your slides using Screencastify. If you're not familiar with extension, I recommend you uh, try it out because it's very good just to uh, record your screen, but you can also use it just for audio. So, first of all, you're going to install the extension and it's going to pop up this little icon over here. So click on it. Make sure your microphone is on and hit record. So. Hi all, these are your activities for today. Hope you're doing fine. Miss you. Bye. Once you have I've recorded your message, it's going to open this a window over here. So you're going to hit download and you're going to choose export audio only. And once it will take a little bit to export the file, but once it's done, you just click on download. So this is going to uh, be saved uh, in your computer. You, you will have to upload it to your drive. So first thing I did was create a folder for my audio files and right click on it and change uh, the sharing settings. So everything inside the folder will be uh, viewable. I'm going to change it here and I'm going to say anyone with the link. Done. So now my audio files is a shared folder. And I'm going to upload my audio file. So now I'm going to go to my choice board. I'm going to insert audio and I'm going to select my file. Just I'm going to resize it. I'm going to delete this because that's uh, just an icon. I'm going to place it here and now Okay, so this way you will be able to add just audio to your slides. Now, if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can just uh, copy this and I'm going to insert it here. Hit uh, Control C and Control V. But I don't want to use this icon, so I'm going to replace it. And I'm going to click on replace image drive and I'm going to choose this image over here. This one <clears throat> I did for this template. So I'm going to use it now and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to crop it a little bit because I don't, I don't need this. So there it's cropped. So now I'm on the radio or you can copy this, paste it here, reset image, right click on it, replace drive. I'm going to choose my iPod, replace. I'm going to resize it because it's a little big. Just going to put it there and I'm going to drag this over here and click on the iPod, right click on the iPod, click on order and send to back. Um, you can write your name over there for the text. I'm using this how to over here, how to create a neon glow effect. So it kind of glows there. So now if they click on the iPod, they will hear your message. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.